In this video, we'll be seeing how to develop a video player like this. So this is the demo of what we are going to do in this video. You are having the option to switch quality. You can switch the quality here. And you can fast forward 10 seconds and go back 10 seconds. You can also restart the video. You are also having the option to change the volume of the video here. You can also play picture in picture and also set the full screen option. So this is what we are going to develop in this video. We'll be using HLSJS and player.io for this project. So let's get started with the implementation. Here you can see that I have created a file, HTML file, and we are having assets folder. Inside that we are having videos folder. If you open this, you can see so many files. So this is the video files, which is converted from the main video. So you have to convert the video file to HLS supported video format. So I have converted it to .m3 U8, which is HLS supported video format. So you can open this video file and you can see the quality options here. So it's having the video file for each quality options. Okay, so you have to convert your video file to an HLS supported format. If you want to convert your video file to HLS supported format easily, you can use this project. So this helps you to convert the video file to HLS supported format easily. As you see in the images, uh, it has a button to convert the video file to M3U8. And you can see the progress of the process inside the progress bar. So that's it. So this converts the video file easily. This makes the process simple. If you don't want to use it, you can simply Google it and convert the video file to HLS supported format. So what you have to do is you have to convert your video files to an HLS supported video format. Okay. So after that, you have to place it inside the assets folder like this. So let's start with our implementation now. Let's add the basic HTML tags. Now we have to add HLSJS to our project. You have to copy this line from this documentation. I will give the link to this documentation in the description. So you can check that out. So copy this. This is the CDN link for HLSJS. So copy this line and paste it above the closing of the body tag. Now we have to add the video player to our project. For that, go to this URL. I will give the link to this on the description. You can scroll down and you can see the CDN link for the JavaScript and CSS part. So you can copy the JavaScript part and paste it on the project. Now let's copy the CSS. Copy the CSS part and paste it on the project paste it inside the head part. Now that's it. We have added HLSJS and the player to our project. So now we have to create a video tag. Let's give the video tag an ID. Set the controls. Now that's it. If you want, you can give an height for the above div so that it will not go overflowed. Now we have to start with the JavaScript implementation. So go to the bottom above the closing of the body and start the script tag. Now we have to add an listener for DOM content loaded. Let's create a variable and get the video tag using the ID. Now let's set the source that is the video file URL. So here we are having it inside the assets folder so that we are having videos folder and we have to use the main video file. So the main video file is video.m3u8. So hope you understand that uh, the main file is video.m3u8 and you can see the main file for each quality also. You can see video underscore 480p.m3u8 
and that's the exact same file for 720p and also for full hd so you have to use the video.m3u8 file now we have set the video url now let's create a constant here you have to check if hls is supported for that if hls dot is supported now if hlsjs is supported the code inside this if condition get executed otherwise uh, you can simply set the video player and maybe play the uh, mp4 version of the video so you can do that if you need to do that so let's concentrate on the hls part let's create an object for hls now you can load the source for that hls dot load source now we have to set the quality and control options here so let's do that Here you can create a variable to get all the available qualities. Now you have to set the control options for the player. That means what all controls you need inside the player like the play, pause, rewind and fast forward quality option etc for that you have to go to the documentation here in the documentation you can see the options for controls this is the documentation inside the player library so you can copy this much I will give the link to this in the description copy this and go to your project now you have to call default options dot control and you can paste the copied options here uh, you can remove the comments you can see I have given the control options so if you don't want the restart option you can simply remove this from here okay and if you don't want the rewind option you can remove that from here so you can add necessary things here okay so this is the progress and this is the current time duration mute option volume option caption option settings play in picture and you can see full screen option everything here so let's keep this like this you can also add the download option but uh, since we are using hls that won't be working so i have removed it okay so let's add the quality options now you can give the semicolon here and start default options dot quality now inside you have to set the default quality and you have to pass all the quality options then you have to set the control to be forced so I will show you so we have to pass one quality option so I am passing the first quality option here you have to pass all the quality here you have to set forced equal to true then only the quality switch option will work Now we have to create a function for switching the quality. So let's create a function and pass the option here. Now we have to define this function. Now you have to come to this curly braces and hit tender. This is the if condition for HLS is supported. 
So on the closing, here you have to come here and create the function. Here we are getting the new quality option here. So we have to write the code to switch the quality inside this function. Before that, you have to come here and give a semicolon, hit enter. Now you have to attach the media here. For that, HLS dot attach media. So here we are attaching the media to the video player. So this is the variable in which we have initialized the video element on the top. You can see this one. Okay. So we are attaching the media to the video player. And after that, you have to set window dot HLS equal to HLS. Now come inside the function and call window dot HLS dot levels dot for each. Now inside the for each, you can check if level dot height equal to equal to the new quality. That is the one which we are passing. Okay. Inside the if condition, you can set the new quality. For that window dot HLS dot current level equal to level index okay now we have to initialize the player so come here below the quality option and hit enter now new p l y r inside that we have to pass the video element and also the constant default options so first one is video and then default options now semicolon so that's all now our video player is also set now let's try running this so i am going to run this inside a plugin called live server okay you can simply search it inside the extension live server and you can install that okay so let's run it inside live server so here we can see the video player is working if you click the play button, it will start playing the video. We are also having the quality option here. You can switch the quality. You can see the quality option is also working. We are also having the option for restart, forward, play, pause, etc. So that's all. Hope you understand how to implement video player using HLSJS. If you want the full source code of this video, you can come to this URL. I will give the URL in the description and you can download it from here and you can start running. If you need the source code for the video converter, you can go to the home page and scroll down and you can see this. Okay. So this is the project for converting video file to HLS supported format. Okay. You can download this from here. Okay. I will give the link for all this in the description. So you can check that out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.